Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Hey guys, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 558. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, ready to talk pro wrestling with you guys. This evening, we got a stacked, stacked show. It's the Valentine's edition for all you lovers out there. We'll probably roll into after uh, Valentine's. Valentine's edition, considering the time here. Uh, we got a bunch of people with us. First of all, uh, remote our regulars. First from Poughkeepsie, New York, the guy that I constantly Kevin Owens. disagree with on, uh, on the Raw wrap-up. It is Mad Mike. I like roses are red. You get the gist. If you're not my Valentine, you just made the list. Oh wow! Oh, um, yeah. and also with us is Bobby F J Town. Play Ben Wall's music. Hi everybody. Friendship's over. Ben Wall. <laughs> Friendship's Friendship over. is over. Yes. Uh, joining us, and and as you've already heard, we got a ton of people on the couch. <laughs> As yes, as was promised yes. with the posters, the first time a guest had had a poster coming into this show, Santana yes. Diamond. I like to be different. It was, it was definitely different. He joins us of uh, International Wrestling Cartel Pro Wrestler Santana Diamonds. Also, you may recognize him from the uh, Indie Mayhem Show STD Christmas Special. It's Corey Futuristic. Hello, and Dan Hooven, Dangerous Dan Hooven, who is very Dangerous fancy Dan this week. Hooven? I don't, I don't know if I'm dangerous. He's hard ass Hooven, dapper, <laughs> dapper, dapper Dan Hooven joining us. Uh, we, we we talked about last time. You you've been training and and you you got the you got the look of John McChesney now. Uh, he's uh he spent some time with me and he's given me a lot of pointers. He's trained me, training me right now. He's putting me through the ringer, making me pay my dues. And he told me I can't look like a bum anymore. I can't wear sweatpants everywhere. If I'm going to be part of the big league, I need to look the part. So that's true. Took me out, took me shopping, got you know about eighteen custom suits made for me. Jeez. But did, I, did he make you pay for those? Don't worry, but he's big league. He he owns the town he's in. It's true. There you go. There you go. Uh, of course, this is your Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check everything out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can drop us a line to 412-206-WMS0 or on that hot or on the, the email address. Good times. Good times at Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com, and uh, you can uh, follow us, uh, subscribe to the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and the YouTube and Facebook page for video versions. Uh, you can also check us out streaming on the four hundred five media dot com. Thank you them. Uh, they're actually putting us out there. The latest episode will be streaming um, every every seven days a week at nine p.m. Pacific time. So thank you to those guys for carrying us there. And of course, every Tuesday you can join us at live dot wrestling mayhem show dot com or the Facebook page or whatever technology will be there at the live uh, dot wrestling mayhem show dot com lately we're doing it on Facebook live with a ton of people in chat joining us this evening and joining us earlier tonight for Santana Diamonds interview as well also thanks to our Patreon supporters uh, you can check that out at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show uh, thank you to our fans of the show level Bo diggity Woo! Ed Burke, the Matthew and Jennifer Carlos Foundation for Podcast Betterment, Trey Tregar, Bobby of J Town, and thanks to our friends Tina Keys and just upgraded Christopher Bishop at the Pocky Club five dollar level. They get the Mayhem Show Gold, including some very special stories that Santana Diamonds um, um, shared with us earlier on the stream about uh, uh, somebody who 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 got Ric Flair angry one time. Yes, sir. So you gotta check I out the gold before. Check out the gold and the pocky club for that and so many other interesting stories, right? I gotta tell the Meadville stories. Of- we got lots yeah, of stories yeah. to tell tonight. We got lots yeah. of stories, man. We'll do some more gold for later. No free pictures. So, oh. no free. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, let's get into the talk for this week. First of all, the big thing that happened: Elimination Chamber passed this past weekend, and we have a new champion in Bray Wyatt. And thank God we still have a new champion after SmackDown. That's oh, right, we do. So good tonight. <laughs> we do. I know. I know, Mike. You're usually sweating on those kinds of things, right? They got me a few times. I'm not gonna lie. So what happened on they SmackDown? Got me a, Did Wyatt uh, just go over clean, or 
Yeah, over Cena. Yeah, over Cena, too. All right, because I was thinking it'd be like a no DQ yeah. finish, and then it'd be like triple well, threat match it, at WrestleMania or well, something. Well, well, no, it turned into a triple threat match. It was a triple threat match tonight. Wyatt, uh, Styles, and Cena. And Wyatt uh, went over clean. Well, I thought at WrestleMania they'd do like Orton, Wyatt, and Cena just well, should, being they idiots. Should, they should just have Wyatt drop hey. the title. Hey, Cena, if they so do Orton, Wyatt, and, Wyatt and Styles at that. WrestleMania, I'm on board with that. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. I'm on board. Mm-hmm. I'm absolutely on board with that. I agree. But It'd I, be much better than the AJ Styles Shane McMahon match that's rumored. Ooh, ooh, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Like, like, I know AJ. That could be fun, but like Shane's not no, that, that good of that a wrestler. Would be, that would be fun, but it, uh, that, I don't want to see Shane at WrestleMania again. No, no, it feels like you're 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 kind of t- like it's bad enough we have Brock Lesnar and Goldberg are going to spend a whole three minutes. Uh, at WrestleMania Shane. and take that three minutes from somebody oh else. Uh, Shane but, Kurt Angle rematch. <laughs> what's, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Shane with the plexiglass uh, shattering and all that why, stuff. Why do we all of a sudden have plexiglass on the entrance for WrestleMania? That seems really weird. I wonder what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> why does it say King of the Ring again? <laughs> yeah, very King of the Ring. Why don't we bring back King of the Ring so we can throw Shane through some more glass? Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, but no, I, I think uh, I, I think it was a really good elimination chamber. Um, I what do you guys think of the redesign of the chamber? Ugh. I like that. I thought it was, thought it was nice. What oh, it looked on, like the on, Terror right? Dome. It looked like yeah, the Terror Dome from TNA. You've been looking at porn. I was looking for some videos to play audio. Wise. Are you are you doing that free porn hub for? I was looking for the, I was looking for the sunny porn to play again. No, <laughs> I've never seen. No the one sunny should. Porn. No one should have this the phrase sunny porno and again in the same sense yes. no you no. only need you only need to watch that once to get the gist of it once hey. once is enough there. I know you the will. sunny porn is nothing compared to the china porn if you watch that yeah. your your eyes will like explode <laughs> it's terrible bulk nasty's watching us <laughs> is he i bet he is because he's a loser <laughs> oh oh Aww. anyway you should get kicked out of the Veteran locker room bulk for that terrible match that you had with Shane in your face. Get out of there. I don't care if Vegas wants you in there. You should get kicked out. You're a disgrace. What the hell? Oh, my God. Terrible matches equal kicked out of the veteran locker room. Anyways. I'm so happy Corey came. I'm so happy. This is exactly why you wanted me to come. Yes. Just specifically Corey, say the heat seeker yes, futuristic. Oh, my God. <laughs> Um, back to Luminous Chamber. Uh, but really, uh, uh, Mike, why why did you hate that? Um, I it it I will grant it looks safer for the wrestlers. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the which, nice which is pad, good. nice padded flooring instead of the grates on the yeah. outside. You know, but I mean, which still had metal there, underneath. Yeah, it had, yeah, but you it could doesn't... see the wooden planks when they they did a shot up from under the cage uh-huh. when it was hanging up there. I mean, and I'm all for making it safer, but you can still make it look dangerous. Yeah. You can still make it look really dangerous. And why is there a giant hole in the middle and no one did anything from that hole? From the hole? No, it's a piece of glass. No, that was not a piece of glass. With the logo? That was a hole. Yeah. That was a hole. Wait, so was was the logo like suspended in the hole? Yeah. That That seems strange. Yes. Maybe maybe why, later. Why was why was there? <laughs> but AJ Styles is the perfect guy to do that. Mm-hmm. AJ Styles is the because I mean basically, if you put the belt there, it's an Ultimate X match. That is true, and AJ Styles is very familiar with Ultimate X match. He's I, a death at it. I did that. Did not have to use a spotlight this time. What? The 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 um LED lights this time mm-hmm. instead of you have to use a spotlight. It was a lot more fluid. It was nice. It was interesting that they had like like kind of double pane doors in in the boxes instead of this like curved thing. I seen the manu- ma- uh, malfunction every other match that they had. Um, yeah, yeah. So 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 uh, yeah. And the LEDs were were, were kind of interesting. It was a nice technical upgrade. It had been a while. Mm-hmm. I, I I think mainly. I'm I'm shocked it wasn't painted blue. <laughs> That's true too. <laughs> you talking about like the big blue cage back in the day? Yeah, exactly. That's why, honestly, that's what I expected. I expected just the old elimination chamber colored blue. This is the paint job. Um, that's I, that's I, literally what I expected. Another yeah. reason they changed it was getting too heavy to hang off the scoreboards, the modern scoreboards. Yeah, and they couldn't support the weight of it. Because that's why they brought it back where they did in um, Corpus Christi, because that was an older arena that could still support it. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, which is probably it, the big it reason. A lot lighter too. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, you, you got to think there weren't those giant steel grates on the sides. You know, yeah. there was more wood in that thing, so so they kind of made it a little more efficient for modern arenas. So, but uh, other than that, I thought uh, it was a fun show. With uh, they had three women's matches, even though one was kind of a throwaway. Uh, wait, the wait, hold on. Which one was the throwaway? Uh, Bella and Natalia. Yeah, Bella and Natalia. I don't think that was a throwaway was necessarily. Throwaway. I thought that was really? really? Good. Yeah, I thought if anything, that handicap match was a throwaway. Don't be like that. Yeah, don't that, don't hate on disabilities. Yeah, that handicap. Match. <laughs> why why is everybody <laughs> hate on Apollo <laughs> Cruz so much? Or Apollo Cruz? I like him. Are they really hating on? I don't. Wait, yeah. Well, wait a minute, Mike. Apollo You're not, Cruz. Chanted, thank you, bi- or thank you, Dolph. Yeah, after you yeah. beat up Apollo <laughs> Cruz. <laughs> the the classic breaking someone's ankle <laughs> spot. They said thank you, Ziggler. Like I can yeah. see like, if he did that to, to Kalisto, but not to Apollo Cruz. Apollo <laughs> Cruz, I don't think has stopped smiling once in his. Well, would either. you stop smiling yeah. if you look like that? I wouldn't. I would if it was my job to not smile. Listen, he's, listen. A face, though. he's not a heel. He does have a little bit of Bobby Lashley syndrome with that. Oh, okay. Well, gotta, 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 guess guess they all look alike, Sword. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think in this case. Oh, boy. No, 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 no. I think in this case, yes, he does Whoa, look alike I like Bobby, like I Bobby didn't Lashley. I would be the guy to say it, but. <laughs> Alternate fact they are different people. <laughs> well, I know <laughs> they're different <laughs> people. <laughs> That is kind of racist because oh I, I don't think that they look anything alike besides they're both bald and black. Although they, they do not the, look alike. Although the TNA World Champion losing in a two-on-one handicap match when he's part of the two sounds about accurate booking. I can't hear you over your privilege. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving uh, on to a non-charged match then. Um, wow. We got tag team wrestling on SmackDown. We were worried about that recently, right, Mike? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Connor yeah. looks huge. I think, I think it would. Did I Connor think it get built? Did Connor get bigger? Connor looks like he just went on some sort of steroid that makes your body grow wide because he's mm-hmm. like this big now. Mm-hmm. He's always been wide though. Yeah. Yes. I like it. I thought the Ascension were kind of they could have been a lot cooler now that they're on Smack. I don't know. I, I've been running behind on wrestling. Whenever I turn on Raw Samoa Joe, as long as I turn it off, I go watch paint dry. <laughs> So I've been watching SmackDown because I really like the women wrestling. But you got they, Samoa Joe in a suit now. Come on. And, uh, and, they upgraded the Ascension's look, though. I like, yeah, no, I I, like their I love SmackDown. SmackDown. You like the look? So I Lubin love their new know, look. Oh, Lubin, I did not Lubin like their new look. Go ahead, Santana. I, I thought they looked awesome. He didn't know that the he Usos really changed like their gimmick and everything, so he texts me, and he was like, I didn't know the Usos were hanging out with you. <laughs> 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 I, I, I don't like this. No, the I don't Usos like their gimmick. Ju- I don't like the Usos gimmick. just looked at the Fatu making a making a change gimmick and decided to go heal with it. I don't like it. Yeah, I, like I, I, I don't, don't like, like it either. It's, I like it. it looks you, too well, why do you like the Usos? It looks too fake. They're good now. Before they were just Hawaiian dancing idiots. Mm-hmm. Now <laughs> the real ones. Like now they're good. Diamonds. I don't know. They're good now. They're, they're just they're good heels. Okay. I like their new uh, <laughs> submission and the kick to the mm-hmm. leg. Mm-hmm. That's good. I okay. like it. Okay. They know it'll work. I mean, there's, there's there's a lot of variety happening with the tag division there. I yeah. mean, I don't know if you can really. Everybody seems viable at this point, right? Like anybody could really, except for maybe Brizango. As much because as I hate to say, I love love. No, I, I didn't know the they button. were tagging. Yeah, I saw the gimmick on the elimination chamber. Mm-hmm. Dude, I loved it. I, I thought it was you, great. You mean you mean their their cameos on the love boat? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I, was great. I thought that was amazing. I'd say even worse off than them is the Vaude villains, though. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah I, got well, story, was, I got a story about what happened with the Vaude villains. That was a gimmick. Yeah, there's okay. a reason. Not gonna, Go ahead, Bobby. We were, we were we were watching the pay per view. Okay, I had friends over to watch it. The power went out right as soon as um, Breezango was eliminated. Power <laughs> comes back on. We didn't even know these the the Vaude villains were in the match. <laughs> we're we're down to the last team. And I'm like, okay, so there's there's uh, the, the Ascension and there's the VOD villains left. And the Ascension come out, and I'm like, wow, the VOD villains actually have a shot at this thing. I'm watching, and then they're like, well, the, the, the VOD villains are, or the Ascension's the last team. And I'm like, did we miss the VOD villains? <laughs> 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 Do you think the VOD villains are going to be the last, last uh, uh, 
uh, stand out there that, that that gets out there. Uh, uh, that was a gimmick speak- that was that was a gimmick that wasn't going to work in the w, in the main roster. I mean, I right. saw it in NXT. It worked in NXT. I, I, yeah. and I, I've contended that I don't think they gave him half well, a chance because all the stuff that made it work in NXT production didn't let. I mean, happen. same with yeah. same well, with Emma. Though. Have a lot to of gimmicks don't survive same without with the Emma, crowd. Yeah, it's but like the not, only, not all. It's, not like, all it's like ECW when ECW was great. You'd bring them to the Tyler WWE Reed. and they they wouldn't like work out. Yeah, Tyler right. Breeze. It's a different crowd. Right. Makes me sad. I yeah. Well, and again, Tyler to succeed. What did Tyler Breeze get to do when he came with back? Adam right? Rose. With that, with that, Adam Rose is another one, right? I like Adam Rose. Oh, come on. <laughs> Give me a break. I think the Vaude villains could have worked. Adam Rose. Does, I is, think the Vaude villains could have worked, but Simon Gotch made himself not too yeah. like, backstage. Yeah. Mm. That's another reason. Okay. I, I think that, ha- I think that, that has too. more to do with it than anything else. On the Usos, Billy's in the chat room saying that the, uh, the, Usos, the, the Usos are a crime time knockoff. They are. So it's a can of diamonds. Bit, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't agree with that. <laughs> Brooklyn, Brooklyn. And number one, Tina's saying that she she hoped to see the revival uh, that won't come until after the. Oh, yeah. God. We all hope. Like, yeah. as, soon, as soon as American Alpha won, like, I was just praying. I'm like, we go hard all day, all night. That's the only thing I wanted to hear. And it just didn't Did you just turn into a demon? I can't wait until no, the revival. The, demon? the revival is. the song is- goes, Bobby. They're gonna make their main roster <laughs> debut and they're gonna fail. I I like really? the revival, but they're definitely gonna fail. <laughs> um. Anyways, the, uh, from the, the uh, best best wait, right what, what, which one are you pointing to? Is the one from from Tragar or, or Matt out there? Oh, I thought you're. Let's spice this up a little bit. What can we talk about, Santana Diamond? No, we'll go. We'll get around. Oh, get it. We'll get around. Get. We'll get around, guys. Right. Uh, we're going to talk about Valentine's Day and wrestling you. here in a moment. I want to hear from Matt. Matt, Matt needs a, he needs a microphone. Well, you got turn turntables. Well, we'll we'll get him in the second half here. Uh, but anyways, he's the voice of reason in all this. <laughs> he is the tr- journalist. <laughs> What's up, Matt? There's no place for a voice of reason on this show tonight. It's clearly outnumbered, so there's no point. I'm just gonna sit back and watch the watch the catastrophe. <laughs> there you go. I still want to see a picture of your rat. Yeah, what I body got, look like? I got yeah. lots of rats, man. Yeah, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Anyways, um, and of course we did get Emilino this week. Joe Rogers ever offer you? Oh, we did. We have to wait a second. Yeah. He offered uh, CJ a We've been waiting so Plus a long. Plus only if loyal. I watched Emelina's debut with uh, a rat, and this girl was like, that girl must have got plastic surgery. And I was thinking, what an idiot. Like, <laughs> They just put a dress on her, and she looks exactly the same. Like, I love it. I love that they trolled everybody after 17 weeks. Yeah, her, I yeah. love it. It's the best angle ever. Yeah, let's talk. Like let's uh, let's 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 uh, roll back a little bit. I'm gonna do an ad real quick, and let's talk about Valentine's Day because I feel like you're, you you want to talk about your rats, so I think it's gonna fit. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> what body look like? There you go. You but in the rat? meantime, <laughs> we get all these people in here, and uh, we 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 feed them from our good friend Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the Perfect Pepperoni Pizza right here in Broadway. Uh, thank you so much to them for supporting this, uh, even tonight, uh, but with all the insanity going on. Uh, thank you so much to them. You can check them out here in Beachview. You can check them out over uh, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, or you can check them out down uh, in Carnegie, PA, on Main Street. And uh, check them out. Support them. Uh, let them know the Mayhem Show sent you, or tell them thanks for supporting show on PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter as well. So... Thanks to those guys. So, yeah, I did want to have a conversation. It is Valentine's Day, as we have everybody here <laughs> from the Valentine's Day. See, Santana Diamonds and Friends. Yes, sir. Cora Futuristic, Dan Hooven. I told you Friends would be coming. You said Friends would be coming, hanging out here. Um, so I want to have a conversation. It is Valentine's Day. It is, um, um, you know, maybe for a lot of wrestling fans, not. It, maybe it's difficult, right? We're, we're, we're trying to get Bobby hooked up. Sorry, Bobby. Um, Bobby, you Bobby, I can get you rep. You Bobby, Bobby, I can get you rep, Bobby. <laughs> you can auction me off. <laughs> we can, okay. Can we auction you <laughs> to the rats? That could be that could be fun. We're <laughs> turtlenecks next show. So, I mean, you guys. I'll take cheddar. Hang with me afterwards, Bobby. We get rat. I thought it could okay. be interesting to, to ask, you know, if, if any experiences, you know, one being in wrestling or being fans of wrestling um with your significant other girlfriends or other things 
Um, you know, are they into wrestling? Have you had any experience trying to get any into wrestling at any point? Have you met anybody because of wrestling at this point? Oh my god, I'm not sharing these stories. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, 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 this is a no. Not, none of us here can compete. I mean, if you want to talk about, like, okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I wish I was like Ric Flair with the swag, mm-hmm. but it's hard to compete when Brian McDowell's in the room. That's true. <laughs> That is true. Because whenever you go with Brian, I don't go with Brian to meet girls. I go looking for his scraps. Because for every five girls in line to meet the Kingpin, there's a few there just along for the ride. I mean, it's, the guy is the mayor of Britsburg. It's it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like when Ric Flair would go out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he'd have all these rats. But he'd have the extra ones for like Arn oh, Anderson wait, and Paul Roma. Wait till the next show. There, there's going to be girls there. They're going to go nuts when they see the Kingpin. Just yeah. wait. Okay. Those He's were... like the Justin Bieber. They're, yes. They, there was at the New Kensington show. Corey was there. Uh, the Kingpin came out, and it was a decent house. And they were acting like Bieber had just walked in the building. Yeah. I remember one flashed him. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, that that was quite an experience. The, the like, show was at a church, and he puts a cross in the ring and. Uh... <laughs> Does yep. a does a corner spot with with a cross getting crushed? That's because he knew he was going to sin afterward. Man, the but bowler gets girl, all the girls in a church. A yeah. woman lifted her shirt up to flash the bowler, and oh, she said, no. "Ooh, kingpin! Yep, you can pin me." Yep. <laughs> Did she? Say True that? story. True she story. Asked him, he asked her if she could do a seven ten split. She goes, "What's that?" He goes, "You're going to find out afterwards." Uh huh. Oh. I'll see soon if I have any luck in wrestling. I haven't been single that long, but I haven't had any weird experiences. I had to explain to no her. Ra- no wrestling rats, just flat old rats in my life. I had to, I had to, I had to explain to a girl what I do, and she didn't understand. She asked if I had a stand-in or anything, and I said, no, I just take photos. But, uh, yeah. Fuji's so big. I've yeah. heard a lot of stories of old-timer IWC guys double-teaming <laughs> girls and stuff like that nice F- former owners of iwc <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> really well, there's uh, only there's yeah. only three owners so. <laughs> well, one of the guys oh, one boy. of the guys um did a tag team with the honky tonk man but yeah well there is that story on aiw's podcast about honky tonk man <laughs> yeah. but that he likes to watch or something yeah but he won't cheat on his wife or something like that well, this, so i heard a different story i just realized yeah. the other day honky tonk man is not in the hall of fame what the hell like there's probably reasons i mean i know he's screwed up be. now but like i thought i heard now. he's turned it i thought i heard he's turned it down yeah Really? That probably is that's true. What, that's what I thought I heard. I thought that they had offered it to him like a while back, like the same year Lawler was getting in, mm-hmm. and they turned it down. Mm-hmm. That's probably true. Because I bet he, I bet with him, he probably wants to be the headliner. And I'm like, mm, yeah. he's no, not Brian sorry. <laughs> no, he ain't Brian yeah. McDowell. Nah. Like I feel like he's a guy that would have gone in back when they had like Hulk Hogan. Like remember that one year it was like Hulk Hogan and like everybody that fought hulk hogan in the 80s right like you look behind him and there was piper and Sheik and i think volkoff you know maybe freddie blassie was there that year uh you know it it, it, he feels like definitely a guy that would have been in that spot isn't rick rude going in this year yeah Uh, that is the word he's rumor no he's he's not officially he's not officially yet no No, they haven't announced him but but that's the word going around i'm a huge i think that'd be great yeah um, mm-hmm. at practice one night, cause, uh, Baker didn't know who Rick Rude was. So oh, like, no. we oh, talked, are you serious? Yeah. That's not true. No, uh, oh, it's true. God. It's true. Anyways, did, we talked about oh. Rick Rude for a good, like 15 minutes at practice. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to did, talk did to you cut a Pittsburgh centric, Rick, did you cut a Pittsburgh centric Rick, Rick Rude promo? Yeah, we did. <laughs> like steel, <laughs> oh, steel city, steel sweat city hogs? sweat hogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I you know, I noticed uh, Bobby Roode does a little bit of the Rick Roode like with, with his robe and he stuff. Should. Oh, you want to hear a yeah. story about Virgil? What? Um, <laughs> I'm very good. No, no, no. There's a reason. Wait, who asked? There's a reason who because you said Virgil? Bobby Roode. Because you said, listen, Virgil argued with me that Bobby Roode was Rick Roode's son, and <laughs> it, he was like, he was like, hold on, he was like, yeah, I was just talking to Vince. He's like, I'm trying to get Rick Roode's son. There. I was like, who's his son? He's like, Bobby. TNA, I was like, that ain't his son. He's like, yeah, it is. I was like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure it's... He's like, no, nah, that's his son, man. I was like, all right, yeah, I ain't going to argue <laughs> with you. So, yeah. uh, since we're on the Virgil tip. So Virgil was at Ring of Honor on Saturday night. 
Um, good, <laughs> good. He probably. He, I'm surprised because I hope I hope he was there. He's not a I fan hope he of got Ring noticed. He's not a fan of Ring of Honor. He hates Ring of Honor. Well, he was sitting in the stands. He was probably like, paid to be there. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. He was like sitting. You know, I'm the only one in IWC who has direct contact <laughs> with Virgil. <laughs> what What do you mean by that? Okay, so they it's had, a brother thing. They had a plumber had a tough time trying to get a hold of Virgil for the last show. Oh, okay. He's okay. always on Reloaded. Okay. So I got really tight with Virgil in the summer, and um, I don't know. He liked me. <laughs> wait, and... wait, 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 wait! You got tight <laughs> with Virgil? Yeah, me and Virgil, we hang out, and you know, we travel together sometimes. And... Okay. So, anyways, he was like, "Man, I like you, this net." So he gave me his house number, and I was like, "Oh, cool!" And then, like, I was hearing that we were having problems getting in contact with him. You because... know, his phone is a fax machine, right? No, no, no. <laughs> because you have to contact his uh, agents or whatever. I don't know who they are. They're the guys who run his Twitter account. Mm-hmm. So uh, Plumber was like, yeah, get in touch with him. So I called his house and his like sister picked up the phone and uh, she gave me his direct like cell phone number. So I called his cell phone and like he still remembered me from the summer, which was cool. And he was like, man, I'll come to IWC anytime. Just let me know a month ahead. I was like, cool, man. But he was booked that weekend somewhere else, so that's mm-hmm. why he wasn't at. Reloaded. That's only because Steve uh, Diamonds bought bought his uh, autograph I at the did, one show. Did not. That's why yeah. him and Virgil are tight. He <laughs> I only... definitely did. Not. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. He was he was at the September show, but the September show he was actually there, like handing out flyers and stuff. This time he actually had a seat you know, down he, on the he, floor. You know so. what I don't like? Virgil. Has wrestled in front of a hundred thousand people yes, at WrestleMania, he and, and he got the pin yeah, at WrestleMania pin. eight. I think and people eight. people shit on him. He has accomplished more in professional wrestling yes, than a lot of people, and they need to show him respect. Yeah, the true. proper respect. The proper respect. Say say his name with respect. Yes, I agree. People make fun of him. I'm like that man wrestled in front of a hundred thousand people at WrestleMania. Virgil he said, he did. also you can't take that away from him. Also, you're part nobody. of the NWO. He said you're nobody unless you work for Vince. So mm-hmm. I was like. What about guys like AJ Styles? And he was like, "Who?" So he was. He's not impressed unless you worked for Vince. Russo or so. McMahon? <laughs> wait, does that mean? Wait, does that mean Virgil would think I'm somebody? Yeah, you did yeah. work for WWE. If yes. you worked for WWE, mm. he would think you're somebody. Then. Oh, we got yes. we got to get Mad Mike and Virgil together. We should yeah. We absolutely we do up. not. <laughs> no, I do not want he Virgil wants, to know where I live. Uh, he wants why? me to pay him to chop to to chop me. You should. What? You should always pay Virgil. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm, he's, he's like, here, take a picture with the belt. I'll chop you for like twenty bucks. <laughs> like, I'm, like, no, I'm like, no, that's okay. I'll think about it, and I walked away. That's kind of an odd bartering <laughs> situation. Yeah. Yeah. So, where was this? Was it at Steel City Con? It's Steel City Con. Of course, yeah, it was that's awesome. Of yeah. course, it was. I mean, maybe if Virgil was known for his chops. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he, he just knows that's what the kids do, right? No, like he's literally known for taking the money that Ted DiBiase gave people after the match. That's yeah, the entrance he music. He is. Is that Virgil's entrance music? It, is that it? Is oh, we're gonna get taken down by WWE. <laughs> nothing, okay. nothing they, better they, than they don't care so about that entrance music. It's so gen- like generic horror. Eighties wrestling that's music. So is so strange. Great. Like Jake the Snake, his music is awesome. It is. Uh, let's see. Can we? Uh, Billy's in the chat. He's saying, uh, "Santana, can you get Virgil to be Corey's friend at Hooven Ground?" Uh, I don't think he'll come. You don't think it gets too far I out? Think, yeah, I think he'll nowhere come near an all. Virgil Garden. will be the friend. <laughs> yeah, he'll be your friend. No, you guys I, have made up. I hate Virgil. No, I'm not going to. You, you have Virgil. history with Virgil. You do have history. Oh, yeah. You don't like him at all. No. Nah. He's a turd. Didn't he shove like a twenty down? <laughs> he your shows throat? up to flea markets you, down the street for me and tries. Did, did you get to keep the twenty? From yeah. Did you reload it? No, I didn't actually. He put that back in his pocket after I spit no, it out. Yeah, that sounds like Virgil. Yeah, that seems right. That Stays seems right. Respect. Yeah, let's talk about Jeff. What do you want to Jeff? know? About Jeff? No, no, not. Jeff. <laughs> let's talk about the. We, do, Meadville? we didn't do that let's for go. Meadville. We yeah. have a we have a voicemail. Oh boy, I need to queue up. So I wasn't right for that. So, Mad Mike. Hi, Sork. Matt, yeah. Mike, you, you, you're one. You're one that's uh, fancy with the ladies. Uh, I've been known to be quite fancy with the ladies. He's a good-looking guy. How do you, especially with the? I've seen your workout pictures these days. You I've show us the guns, Matt, Matt Mike. Show us the guns. Matt, Mike, show us no, your no, car. No, Sork, 
Sorg has put a strict no guns policy. I on have. Show, I have. show us well, your car. Show us I'm, the muscles. He's been working out. I'm. I'm about show to lift the, the ban on him. So no, show the muscles now. Take your shirt off. For, for, all right. For, all right. For, for, yeah, the, for Dan. For the people. There, there, there it is. I see. There it is. There we go. Okay. The peaks. Okay. The peaks. I'm working. I'm working. I on. like it. Keep working it up, on. man. But how do you, uh, Mike? How do take you take your shirt off? No, I'm not. I'm not working that hard on it. Let's all just take our shirt off. No, no, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, I was promised that I'd see every wrestling mayhem show cast member's dick from showing up here because it's the Valentine's Day <laughs> who, episode. Who, so who said that to you? Show your. Car. If it's Valentine's Day and you show up on a podcast, it is proper manners to show your dick. Okay. That Everybody sounds like a Jimmy has DeMarco to take quote. Their shirt off, dude. It sound, that sounds like. I think that happened one time with. Well, then, yeah, yeah. Oh, it definitely with, happened with Jimmy, Jimmy DeMarco. Here. I don't know. I, I, yeah. I, I block out DeMarco, a lot of that stuff. I like that guy. I miss Jimmy DeMarco. Yeah, Jimmy DeMarco. Sorry, yeah you need to have sorry, him That on. happened at um, the um, the anniversary show we did at the restaurant. Mm, yeah, that got weird. You guys was, like, yeah, a five did at a restaurant? That was a health Yeah, we did a five year anniversary at like the Sharp Edge downtown. What's that? Was it a, I said that was a health code violation. There was definitely. I want to. I want to hear about Meadville and Jeff. What, what story? Oh, let me tell the Robbie E story. Robbie so, E, the Tatanka story. Okay, so wait. Um, I didn't get to introduce myself to Robbie E. I didn't get to really talk to him. I was. I don't know what I was doing. Anyways, during intermission, who do you, who do you wrestle that night? I was Andrew on the Palace. pre-show. Yeah. You're on the wait, pre-show. Oh yeah, yeah. He Who? wrestled Andrew Palace. Andrew Palace. Okay. Um. Anyways, I was on the. Pre-show. I like. I like you. You pointed at the poster. Nobody can see. Good yeah. <laughs> I had to look up at that. Anyways, um. I guess you needed a ticket during intermission to do the meet and greet or whatever. Right. Right. You have to buy like an extra ticket for meet and greet. I didn't know this. You so buy your ticket this year too. Wait, wait, so wait, did they not let you in? No. 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 no, no. <laughs> I didn't. I think I walked in there for like a minute or whatever. I don't. Anyways, Jeff walks in and he somehow got a poster that I, I know you have to pay for and I know he didn't pay for it and he was getting autographs and then um, he went up to Robbie E, he said, and he said, Robbie E was like, hey, bud, do you have your ticket or something? And Jeff, I don't know if you were supposed to show your ticket to whoever. I don't know. That's Anyways, weird. Jeff goes to him. Or was he, he just it, being suspicious? I, I think so. And Jeff whispers, I'm here with Santana Diamonds. And I said, <laughs> what Robbie E said? He goes, oh, okay. And he just signed his post. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got, you got stroke with Robbie yeah, E then. I That's great. I do. That's great. And then, come up to talk and then at the end of the night, I'm looking for Plumber to say bye to him and thank <laughs> this him. This is funnier. Because I always, I always thank Plumber anytime I'm on a show. And uh, uh, Tatanka's standing right there. So I'm like, hey, Plumber, I'll see you. Thanks. And I'm like, hey, Tatanka. And then Jeff shakes Tatanka's hand, mm-hmm. and he calls him by his real name, uh, Chris. What is it, Chris? We don't need Chavez. We don't need a real okay. name. Anyways, well, he's like, like he's like, hey, Chris Chavez or something. And he's shaking his hand, and he goes, yeah, 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 in in Tatanka's but, face, and Tatanka just starts busting out laughing. I was like, oh shit! I, I didn't know if he was gonna get mad or whatever. And Tatanka started laughing. So I'm sure that's not the weirdest thing that's happened to Tatanka it was over the years. Really right? funny. It so, was really funny. And I mean, then, I, I I've had dinner with Tatanka before. Really? Yes, when I was ten. Nice. I won. I won a contest. That's awesome. Yeah, it, it was very weird. It was like my first time actually meeting a professional wrestler, and I don't remember one single thing i said to him the only thing i remember is when i went to the bathroom lex luger was in a stall and i distinctly remember hearing a lot of sniffing oh Good. i believe that yeah. we need more of that in yes wrestling. yes we do <laughs> and then and then with scotty too hardy um jeff is actually a bowler like i'm not lying jeff bowls he not travels as as like, kingpin. like he goes to cleveland he goes i don't know he travels anyways when Jeff hits like seven or eight in a row, he does the right said Fred, I'm too sexy like dance. Mm-hmm. And then he said when he gets nine or ten like strikes in a row, I don't know anything about wrestling. He's got a sequence. Yeah. Um, he does the worm. So when Scotty Too Hardy walked in, he looked like he looked real tired. I now remember Scotty was saying like he's real tired. He didn't sleep a lot that <laughs> night. So anyways, Jeff walks up to him. He's like, Hello, That's Mr. Too Hardy. And Scott's like, Hey, how's it going? And Jeff goes, Mr. Tuhati, I just want you to know, he's like, in honor of you, sir, I'm a bowler. And when I hit 10 in a row, I do the worm just to honor you. And it was the most awkward, like, five seconds. Scotty Hardy just stared at him and was like, thanks. <laughs> Jeff was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big influence <laughs> on his life. Yes, yes, it really is. And by the way, Biggs is in the chat room and says hi. Biggs. No, tell yeah. Biggs that I need an update on Jerry Allen. Yeah, you, you, Biggs. You, 
I will come there if you give me a Jerry Allen appreciation. Yeah, right? we want Jerry Allen. There you go. All right, we got a voicemail, and then we're going to catch the break here and head up, come back with a big question. We got something pretty special for Mayhem Mania as well. So let's get to the voicemail. And all you guys at the Rest of Mayhem Show, this is your Vegas fan, uh, Daniel Terry here. Uh, I know I sent you guys a, a voicemail late last week, but I want to try to simplify it as much as possible from the last one. He gives he gives second drafts on his voicemails. It's awesome. Do you guys see an NXT championship match at WrestleMania? I mean, no takeover, no, no in a big NXT special. Yeah, at access. Do you guys see it? Do you guys see an NXT <laughs> championship match in the future? Seriously, at access. So, I can't wait to hear you guys. Uh, you guys response to this. And I will be listening to you guys on iHeartRadio. All right. Thanks a lot. I'm not even being facetious. I think they'll have it. At, they usually have access. They have well, they usually have takeover. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. No, I, I don't think well, they're going to do it on NXT, WrestleMania. I think that the actually devalues it because I think the NXT title match is a big deal. Mm -hmm. and I think it should be on Sunday. I don't want to see it as an undercard mm -hmm. to the main show. Yeah. I mean, that's my I personal think if, opinion. I think if there was ever a chance of that happening, it would have had to have been a couple of years ago. Well, yeah, exactly. Uh, what do you think, Bobby? Uh, yeah, I think NXT is too big now. It's it's its own entity. It's not gonna go on the the like ma the main WrestleMania show. I think that would demean the NXT title. Not demean it, but it just would treat it as like an undercard title, which it's not now. It's it's its own thing. It's its own brand. Right, exactly. It, it is its own thing. It would be kind of curious what's going to happen to something like the UK Championship or something like that too, right? So. But anyways, um, all right, on that note, thank you again. And if you guys want to drop us a voicemail, 412-206-WMS0 or goodtimesatwrestlingmayhemshow.com or join us in the chat. A lot of stuff going on there. There's call us when you're drunk. Call Definitely call us when you're drunk, guys. Uh, put it in your speed. In his eyes. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we got some uh, stuff from the chat room. No, uh, no, no. We're not playing that. Ben Wall! No, no, no. Ben Wall! Bring it on. We'll be right back with the big question. <laughs> Let's talk tech. Tech news discussions from the people in the industry right here in Pittsburgh. Online, gadgets, startups, and more. Check it out at awesomecast.net. Hey, guys. Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are here, of course, the crew, the STD. No, not S in yes. STD. Yeah, it is. STD. This is the new STD. The new STD 2.0. I'm begging Can you. Can we call you the, 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 the Diamond Collection? Yeah, sure. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Like of Diamonds and friends, Corey Futuristic of the STD, Sexy Counted Dudes, and uh, Delicious Ardance. Dan Hooven. Yes. What, what was Ardance. it? Divine? Yeah. Da, da, what, was Dapper. Your, what was your D? Dapper. Dapper. Dapper Dan Hooven in a suit joining us as well. Um, of course, also Mad Mike up in Poughkeepsie, Bobby of J-Town, and the, the orchestrator of Mayhem Mania. Get in the camera there. Matt Carlins has joined over in the produ producer booth as well with Missy right for the show. I'm in the producer booth, Sorg. You are in the producer booth with the monkey. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so it is time for the big <laughs> question. Mad Mike, what is the big question this week? This fine Valentine's Day edition? All right, guys. Well, as you know, it's Valentine's Day. And instead of talking about like Macho Man and Liz, you know, Tommy Dreamer and Beulah, great couples that have existed in wrestling history. My big question is, what couples would you have liked to see in professional wrestling history? So like, you're arming us with Cupid's arrow for which uh, yes. to was, hook up. Uh, yes, and, and I'll, 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 I'll do for, one to get you guys started. To get okay. you guys, because I have one that I always thought this was a thing when I was younger, but it was never actually a thing. Sherry Martell and Rick Martell. I always thought they were married when I was younger I'm just because they happened to have the same last name. I'm and then this. when I found out they weren't, I always thought they would have been a cool like uh, uh, ma uh, wrestler valet combo. Okay. I, I thought they would have been great. Okay. Okay. I kind of I see where you're getting at here. Anybody else have one lined up? Hashtag AJ all. What? <laughs> <laughs> AJ all. Bobby, Bobby no. We're going that way, then maybe AJ and AJ Styles. <laughs> My oh, dream no. match would be uh, <laughs> Brian McDowell versus Wardlow. <laughs> what? Brian McDowell versus Wardlow. I hope Plumber books that one day. 
<laughs> That's not the question. On a McDonald's shoot. I wish they had a gimmick where Jerry Lawler just was macking on all the young chicks on TV. <laughs> That's what I wish. Well, it's happen. more than a gimmick, so. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I don't know. What about you, uh, Carlins? I'm struggling with this one. Sorry, gotta be honest I with you. The question the question Sorry for me to play to God. A, if you wanted to see a couple in wrestling, who do I want to see do? hook up? First you know what? You know it'd be interesting guy, yeah, yeah. Hmm. if Emma hooked up with Kurt Hawkins. That would be interesting because obviously he's like a, the twin of Zack Ryder. So that could be weird, you know? Okay. Okay, I could see that. There you go. I could see that. You guys on the couch have anything? Yeah, earthquake and typhoon. <laughs> <laughs> Love wins, brother. <laughs> Love wins. Yeah. I mean, there's a power couple in IWC. Right no, we don't talk about it. Yeah, that's that. True. That's true. I think uh, Nia Jackson Neville would be good. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> or, or Nia Jackson Braun Strowman. What about what about uh, uh, Karma and Hulk Hogan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, he, I think he'd be into that. Me too. When it comes crashing down and hurts and stuff. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I think Karma's bitten Hulk Hogan a few too many times at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, man, I don't know. I, I it's it, that yeah, that's a tough one. Scott Steiner, Nicole Bass. There you go. Oh, Actually, that'd, that'd be a good one. That'd be a really good be one. Amazing. <laughs> be awesome. Oh my god. That's like, that's like a maxed out version of Triple H in China. <laughs> that makes more sense than like Macho Man and any of the Macho Girls. Virgil and Trish Stratus. That'd be pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, all right. What if Stephanie had an illicit affair with Seth Rollins? Oh wow! Like, what if that was what if that was part of their story? That was the storyline that, that was going in. Um, <laughs> Savage had Stephanie McMahon. I mean, Savage yeah, had was, lust in his eyes <laughs> as he did. Uh, from Bull the from the chat, Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> Wheels is saying Bailey and Santino Morella. No, 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 that already no, ruined Emma. anything involving Bailey. Gets <laughs> creepy, like. Like yeah, immediately, because yeah. you're just—it's like yeah. No, you know what? You know what wouldn't get creepy with Bailey? <laughs> Jack Gallagher. Jack Gallagher and Bailey. I don't know. It still feels creepy to me. I don't know. <laughs> Jackson Argos in the chat saying <laughs> when, Gangrel. When did this, pod- Gangrel- when did this podcast become Tumblr? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of is, isn't it? Uh, Jack. Uh, or, I'm sorry. Uh, Gangrel and Ariel from Jackson. Oh, I like that. That'd be good. I see where we're I going. like that a lot. How Let's about uh, Jackson Argos and Talent? Oh, oh, well, we'll like have a conversation about that in a moment. Uh, Billy Johnson says Jackson Argos and Bulk Nasty. Uh, Jackson also says Jackson also says Billy Chuck and Hooven. Hey, man, love wins. Love yeah, wins. That's right. Love wins. Uh, you got anything? I already just, gave you mine. You, oh, I guess you did. <laughs> I'm holding to that one. You're holding to that one? <laughs> All right. Well, let us know. What kind of a fun, fun uh, uh, big question there. Well, it's time for the, uh, the, the thought experiment that everybody's been waiting for. It's time for Mayhem Media. Uh, Mainstream Matt is here, and we do have a special guest for the first pick we'll get to in a moment, too, right? What, 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 what? You have a Twitter response to that question. I have a Twitter response to that question? From our Patreon, Ed Burke. From our Patreon. Oh, Ed Burke is out there. It says if... Uh, okay, uh, I wish uh, I wish I was around to watch Savage and Elizabeth. That one? If the former... Yeah. I really don't know. No, I, Am I not seeing the, the most well, recent he was, one? He was asking, define sod. Do you mean a couple I missed and want to have ba- seen, or backstage no. couples I wish were on camera? No, no, no. no. It, no, it, it, no. Was more, it was more. It was more. We're creating. On screen never existed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're we're kind of fantasy booking love. That's weird. This whole conversation's weird. I don't like yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You're just afraid of love, Hooven. Why don't you have love in your heart? Because love stinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, time for the Mayhem Mania. Matt, take it away. Okay, I'm going to try to explain this to three people at once. It's not going to be easy. Okay. Cash, Cash me outside. outside. How about now? Okay. <laughs> <sighs> I just figured out what that was like a few days ago. So, I was so I proud of myself. About it yeah, morning. I just learned about it a couple days ago. It was great. America's yeah. trash. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, all right, so this is. Is this a little game we call Mayhem Mania. Is Nakamura on there? Hmm? Yeah, Nakamura is on there. <laughs> all right, it's kind of like fantasy booking, except it isn't. Basically, we're trying to create the uh, best WrestleMania card we can possibly create within the realms of the current reality. So you can't, like, pull people from other organizations. They all come in their current contractual, physical, and emotional state. What if they're on the independent scene? Well, that's a possibility, then. You did pull it off last time, didn't you? I did. I did, yeah. Um, So we have seven matches. We're trying to get eight matches on here because if a match survives three rounds... 
um, it graduates to a permanent super card, um, and then the person who created that match gets a few rewards. And the IW, well, that's what you're going to find, find out, out because we Bobby just Roode graduated our Roode. first match. Um, Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens was created by the IWC Rookie of the Year, Jackson Argus. Um, so that survived three rounds without getting changed. So we graduated, and now Jackson gets to come back, and he gets to uh, have some fun. So, Jackson, are you there? That's the reward. I'm here. Jackson, I'm I had right. Tim Hortons this weekend in, Canada, in, uh, in Erie, just to let you know it sucked. That's me. Jackson. <sighs> should we review the matches before he does his, or though he gets to make the match? or? I think we should review them. I think that would be s splendid. Good idea. All right. Uh, Jackson, you know what you're up to, so I'm going to review the matches real quick, and then uh, Jackson will get down to business. Sorg, are we ready? Mm -hmm. Here are the other seven matches that we are going to uh, have a chance to make some adjustments to if uh, you guys choose to. Uh, first, we have American Alpha versus the Kings of Wrestling, Cesaro and Cassius Ono versus The Revival. That's created by Bobby F. J-Town. Next, we have Bray Wyatt versus Bo Dallas. That was created by Burt Legrand. Who gives a shit? Next, we have oh, AJ okay. Styles versus pizza. Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh, that was created by Chris LaRusso. What is Nakamura uh, wearing? Next up, we've got <laughs> John... Four-way mixed tag team match. I like this. John Cena versus Nikki. Uh, John Cena and Nikki oh, Bella versus like the Miz and Maurice versus Rusev and Lana versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. That was created by That's Rob getting Brown. Crowded. That's getting real crowded. And, and someone did correctly point out this looks like a Dancing with the Stars promo. <laughs> Shut up, Rob. <laughs> right. It's fantastic. Rob no, he just oh. made the match. Oh, he made the match. Next up, we've got. Bobby Roode versus Baron Corbin. That was created by oh Sorgatron. My. That is terrible. Hey, stay getting easy there. What? <laughs> You'll get your chance. Next up, we've got The Shield versus The New Day. That was created by Mad Mike. That looks like a Black Lives Matter. And like finally, Trump. we have <laughs> Eric Young and Nikki Cross versus Ty Dillinger and Emma Lena. We're going to have to change that to Emma, aren't we? That was created by The Rave maybe, last week. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. Now, no, if, if we can keep people in suits, we can keep Emelina as Emelina. That is true. That I is guess true. you have a point. Uh, maybe, maybe one week somebody can swap for Emma. So, Jackson, <laughs> your match, Brock Lesnar versus Kevin Owens, graduated to the Supercard. Now we have an yes. open slot that we yes. need to Good fill. Like Congratulations, that. Jackson. That was the first match you've ever created. You're not only the IWC Rookie of the Year, you're the Mayhem Mania Rookie of the Year. You're, you're a phenom oh God, in every so single way. Thing. And I don't know anyone, I've not seen anyone who could possibly match you inside the ring, outside the ring. I don't know who could possibly match with you, but, you know, what? 2016 awards, 2016. I don't know. It's really hard. I'm having a trouble time hearing everybody because we're all talking over each other. I think we should just be more polite and let one person talk at a time. It would make this so much easier for me. You're such a good Canadian. I try so polite. Um, all right, Jackson, let's get down to business. First, we have to create a new match to fill this uh, open slot on the uh, undercard. So you got a uh, like match to we can fill your here. slot. Fantastic. Yeah, fill my slot. Well, I've given this a lot of thought, and I think what I'm going to do here is mix a little bit of old school with a little bit of new, new school. And um, I think first, I've got to find a way to find a, a, a classic. Um, the Undertaker is going to be in this match. Mm-hmm. And I want to see him go toe to toe with Finn Balor. Nice, mm. because I want to see a forty-minute segment of WrestleMania. There's nothing but entrances. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so there, there is my pitch for uh, the new match we're going to add in there. To <laughs> uh, before we go any further, I should mention uh, what the order of the moves are going to be after Jackson gets done. Uh, Missy, I'd like you to make a move this week. That's okay. Ooh. Right? Oh, okay. okay. I'm going to do Missy and then Bobby and then Hooven and then Corey and then Santana. Wow. So that'll be the list of. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, Jackson, next thing we need to do is um, w we give you a chance, basically, because sometimes people get a little too creative uh, when they're looking for names to put onto their uh, Mayhem Mania matches. So, this is a chance for you to eliminate someone, to delete someone completely from Mayhem Mania, to make one name unusable for the rest of this game uh, all the way through the next coming weeks. So, it, give us one name that you just don't want to see anybody use from here on out. You know, I've been, I've been getting a lot of, of hints of who I should use. A lot of people have been texting me, telling me uh, some suggestions. And I see people already snickering because they're, they have an idea of who I may say. 
I was called a good Canadian earlier. I think I'm going to be a bad Canadian now because I'm going to give the people what they want and I'm going to take away Ryback. Oh, no. no. Well played, well played, well played. That's right. Jackson Argus just deleted Ryback from uh, Mayhem Mania. Um, So, uh, (laughs) fantastic. You made okay. a fast enemy. <laughs> yeah, Ryback is the most underutilized star of the past century. And now he's the most underutilized star in Mayhem Mania this year. So. Well, that's what happens when you listen to the internet. <laughs> well, um, all right, uh, Jackson, one more thing. Sure. Um, you have an opportunity to hand out some quote-unquote punishment to uh, one of the other five players this week. You could basically... Um, Basically, what's going to happen is you're going to pick one of the five players, and then I will, in turn, tell them what the punishment is going to be that will dictate, um, essentially, which wrestler they're going to have to use. So, um, Jackson, you pick the uh, poor soul here among the uh, five players who's going to get the punishment, and then I'll let them know what they're up against, and um, they'll have some time to think about it, maybe. I'm quite perched right now. Fantastic. Well, I was going to wait. I can't drink that. Until the 25th to hand out this gentleman some punishment, but if I can do it early, I guess I'll hand out some punishment to Mr. Santana Diamond. All right. Well, Uh, Santana, uh, this week's punishment (laughs) for you. You have to show us your green card. No, 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 no. no. Um, Santa, Santana, unfortunately, you're going last, so you'll have some time to think about this. Um, for this week's punishment, you must use a Canadian wrestler um, to create your match. So that will be the challenge for you. I'm sure you're up to it, though. No problems. Um, so now we're going to get down to making some changes. No, you got to use an actual wrestler who can actually show up at WrestleMania this year. Okay. Okay. Um, so now we got, now we're down to the five players here. Jackson, thank you very much, and congratulations for being a great Mayhem Mania player. Hey, thank you so much. You guys have fun oh, the rest of the time. <laughs> um, so when it comes down to you guys, you're going to have basically, you know, basically three options. Either you can, like, swap one guy for one guy inside of the corridor. If you want to bring another guy on and get rid of the other guy, you can do that. Just a one for one, whether it's a tag team or a single wrestler. You can kill a match entirely. Create a new match with all new people, or you can add an additional tag team or additional wrestler, make it an extra three way, four way, you know, take it to another level take, like that. Say you could take Styles and Nakamura, just take that off the card and replace it with like Warlow versus T Rex. Yes, but I don't know why Vince would book that, but yes, but, that's, the, gist, that's the basic gist. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would definitely book T Rex, but. We need um, McDowell on there. Yeah, we somewhere. do. We need the Kingpin <laughs> at WrestleMania. Missy, would you like to go first? And then Bobby's on deck. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh, let's turn the microphone to you so you can talk. Oh, what do I want to do? I'm going to take out Rude versus Corbin. Okay. And I'm going to replace that. (laughs) What you got? Best friends, now frenemies. These have to be uh, current WWE. Which ones? Anybody. That would be the, the recent breakup. Anybody. Can't use oh, Owens. Oh, I can't use Owens. He's, a, he's wrestling Brock Lesnar. Ah. Oh, that's right. Damn it. You could you um, could do Owens' both former best friends. Yeah. Yes, I just tried that. Uh, no, no. I want to go ahead and put back in my, my mustache versus mustache guys again um who was a gallagher and gotch Gotch. remember you have more choices than mustache men now shush all right i want want gallagher and gotch like that's that's that's, that's, wow you're really dedicated to gallagher and dedicated to that match jeez all right gallagher and gotch it is all All right right. bobby you're up and uh all right hooven you're on deck so she got rid of the baron corbin and bobby Roode match that's right? right Okay. Um, damn tragedy. <coughs> it's okay. Though. I'm going to add somebody to a match. Okay. I'm going to add Sami Zayn to that AJ Styles Nakamura match. There you go. All right. Hmm. That's funny. I was going to do something like that. I was going to do something with Sami Zayn. God damn you, Bobby. <laughs> Hooven, you're up. Corey, you're on deck. So can you pull, <laughs> pull that towards it again? There you go. Yeah, take off Nakamura because he shouldn't Doesn't be on. Doesn't get a punishment for messing with that match, though. Because he shouldn't be on a main event card and replace him with uh, with uh, Bobby Roode. Okay. 
Wait, wait, no, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Punishment for that, though? No. No, no, no. No, no there's no punishment. No. Well, we did last year. No, 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 no. You're with... thinking about the Alex Cars role. I'll explain that later. <laughs> Get rid of Nakamura. All right. And uh, okay. let's put Elias Sampson in that match. Okay. <laughs> yes. Ah, yes. yes. Like now in that the match. drifter. He drifts right into that match. <laughs> yeah. Don't let Nak- <laughs> is there any way- Nakamura shouldn't be on a WrestleMania card. It's not a dance contest. Well, maybe he can get your match to graduate. You can delete Nakamura then. Yeah, that's a good only move, right? one Asian that needs to You survive. haven't noticed, Hooven hates on Samoa Joe and Nakamura for yeah. reasons I have no clue why. <laughs> oh, he hates Samoa Joe. Look, I'm not going to But he loves Randy. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm not gonna. laughs> All right, Corey, you got this figured out? You think you can handle this? Yes. All right. Um, I want Jerry Lawler versus. Um, I don't think I can let you use Jerry Lawler. Why can't why? I? Why? He's a dude current. had a heart Jerry attack. Jerry Lawler versus. He's current. Um, Adam, whatever his name is. Adam, who? Whatever the announcer guy who has his brain all fucked up. What? Corey Corey Graves? The guy who said Jeff Harvey. Oh, Mike Adam. Oh, Mike Adam. Adam. No, 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 no. Jerry Lawler and Mike Adam. Jerry, Jerry Lawler to the I can death. be. To the Jerry, death. Jerry Lawler, I could be persuaded. I cannot let you put Mike Adam Lee into a match. What? Why? He's better There's than no more. way. He's Mike Adam Lee. You think Dr. Maroon, never you think Dr. Maroon would medically Whoever clear has, Mike Adam Lee? Whoever's heart or brain gives out first. That is the loser These of the match. These people are coming in their current physical condition. You can't put Mike All Adam Lee right, into a I match. I guess I'll pick something else. Um, <laughs> I admire your creativity. Can you pick Mick Foley or no? That's a stretch, too. I gotta be honest. All right, well, it's a Why stretch. are you going for people who are barely capable it's of wrestling? It's a stretch that you'll let go. This is <laughs> because a, it's WrestleMania. This is a very interesting match. All right, give it to me. That has never, ever happened. Okay. Mick Foley versus Jericho. Okay. Boom. All right. All right. Yeah. I'll be with that. But you, like, I just read a thing today of Mick Foley saying I will never have another match. Yeah, so, I, know. I know. So I don't know about that's that. Are you sure you can't think of someone time. else you'd rather see wrestle Jericho? I guess I'll come up with something more realistic. Hey, uh, Bret, Bret Hart had a match at Mania when he was damn near. <laughs> that is true. You know, that is true. And he's had strokes. <sighs> Thanks, Goldberg. Uh, man. <laughs> He could have like a not real match with him, you know. Was it Jericho like throwing himself into things while Mick yeah. just stands there and watches. What, yeah. so, so I can take somebody out of a match. Yeah, yeah. And bring in somebody. Okay. Different? Yeah. Um, I want to take Balor out of the Taker Balor match oh. and put uh, oh, Goldberg yeah. in there. Good, 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 good. Okay, go. okay, okay. All right. That's like the best Goldberg right, match go possible on. to me. Goldberg and Undertaker. Okay, I got, I, I got you. That's good. That's... I can't really argue that. That's that's a good one. I, I want to miss the 40 minutes of intros. It would but... probably be terrible at this point in both their careers, but the thought of no. it. Goldberg is better. Sword. And, and you know, sword. and you know, if you, if you if you put sword. Goldberg's Cal locker Cal room, if you put Goldberg's oh, locker, oh, if you put Goldberg's locker room far enough away from the entrance, that could be a long ass yeah. entrance. Yeah. Hold up, hold up. Mike himself on the way out. I'm I'm going. I'm convinced Goldberg will be the one to bring back the little WrestleMania cart. From WrestleMania three, because he will not be able to walk that whole entrance way down. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Goldberg wouldn't be able to walk down that aisle. No, um, look at him when he gets to the ring. He's why? Gassed. Because because you're afraid he's going to headbutt a child. No, because I'm afraid he's going to knock himself out headbutting a door again. <laughs> Corey, I'm sorry I made you stray too close to reality, but excellent match, excellent match. Thank Santana, you have know. you come up with a Canadian wrestler to use? Yes, sir. Okay, what you got? Let's take out um, Sami Zayn. He's already Canadian. Just letting you know. <laughs> I'm gonna. I got. I have a better Canadian. Got to use one. All I right, have yeah. a better Canadian. All right. Kenny Omega. I can't let you do that. Yes. Can't do that. He's contracted. I can't let you have that. I love it, but I can't let you do it. It's somebody who's under contract. We want you to learn. Excellent. Kenny Omega. Good choice, though. Is that, is that the uh, Spirit Squad dude? No, yeah, no. yeah that's exactly what it is. No, I thought he's back on SmackDown. No, what? To yeah, be what fair, happened? That might to be them. who Vince McMahon thinks Kenny Omega is. Well, it's the first that's Kenny true. I knew, so he's Kenny Omega. Is that Ken Doan? <laughs> No, yeah, that, I think that's who you're thinking. Yeah, that's exactly who you're thinking. Yeah, you've been right. joking, but I'm seriously pissed that Spirit <laughs> Squad is gone now. I just like realized yeah, it now. They are. I was loving it whenever they were back. I feel bad that he so left. So I have to, I have to pick Sorry, a Santana. Canadian. You need to use a Canadian. Um, we, I've got a list on, of suggestions. I'm, I'm if trying you're to think. I'm trying to think. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I already know Jericho, but hold on. Hold on. 
I'm really not a fan of Jericho. Like, I don't care for Jericho at all. Um, you could use Lance. Oh, rough. Do you want me to offer you a few Canadians that you might be able to use? Yeah. Um, I made a list of a couple Canadian options for you. You could use Tyler Breeze. Just made a list. Okay. You could make uh, Jinder Mahal is Canadian. What? Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. What? Natalia. What? Yeah, he's originally from Canada. That's what uh, I learned oh. in wrestling this week. <laughs> Natalia is Canadian, <laughs> obviously. Uh, New Jack. Uh, let's see. Uh, Maurice has already <laughs> used. Now, put Tyler Breeze. I yeah. feel bad for the guy. Me put too. Tyler Breeze. Uh, in here? Yeah. All right, good deal. But against, against Elias Sampson and... Yes. AJ Styles. Yeah, I would. I pick, think Styles can get four stars out of him. I would pick McDowell, but I'm not allowed. I have to pick a Canadian. So yeah, yeah. I didn't know. Can we... you just picture Brian McDowell at WrestleMania? I like, can. I love it. I can. Giant bowling pin entrance. It'd be yeah. amazing. <laughs> right. Let the record show. Santana booked Tyler Breeze over Chris Jericho. Absolutely. I he what... had a choice. Absolutely. And he chose not to. I don't like Jericho. That's I don't, okay. I never liked him. I don't like him. I don't. I know we're joking around, but how sick would it be for Brian McDowell to be in one of those like inflatable like ball things that kids are in? Like at his entrance and like be rolling down the entrance. We need to make that happen. We should. And, we need to make that happen. Every pin is a random NXT jobber that you yeah. can just <laughs> like. These are all good ideas. These are great ideas. I'm gonna recap the card real quick. Sorry. All right. Uh, hey, Missy, can, can you hold that up for the camera? Give, give her the card so we can see uh, on video at least. There you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got this set up. That. Real nice. That fine Real nice. Penmanship. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's about the best. All right. Here's, here's, the, uh, here's the current uh, undercard. Now, remind everyone oh, that yeah, uh, Brock Lesnar like versus that. Kevin Owens graduated and that uh, Jackson Argos created that match. Mm -hmm. First try. Knocked it right out of the park. Good awesome. job. Yeah. I wish I could hear. I can't Amazing. hear nothing. Oh. Good job, Argos. <laughs> Keep playing the WWE 2K17 and, and, and seeing how <laughs> yeah. wrestling is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, the Undertaker versus Goldberg. American Alpha no. versus the Kings of Wrestling versus the Revival. Bray Wyatt versus Bo Dallas. AJ Styles versus Elias Sampson versus Tyler Breeze. Uh, John Cena and Nikki Bella versus The Miz and Maurice versus Rusev and Lana versus Triple H and Stephanie McMahon. Jack Gallagher versus Simon Gotch. The Shield versus The New Day. And Eric Young and Nikki Cross versus Ty Dillinger and Emelina. What a card! There you go, there you go. And of course, uh, uh, check out, we have... Coming up, uh, yeah, and don't forget to uh, tune in for Talking Mayhem Mania, the hottest new show on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'll be talking. Yes. I'm going to, th this week, I'm going to tell everybody what the real money move would have been for Santana, who the, who the, who the, who the optimal Canadian wrestler would have been for him to use. But Tyler Breeze was an excellent second best pick. Santino Morella. Ooh. Too late. Too late, and also I think he's retired. So, uh, but anyways, I think he could get him out of retirement. You think he's physically able, enough money he? he could do. It's not like he has to like wrestle, wrestle or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, are your headphones still going? Pull people out of retirement. Now it's, it's just a matter of like hold it. <laughs> it's just a matter yeah. of physical capability. That's that's kind of a big. We're almost done here. So, uh, well, guys, it's time to wrap up the show. So I want to go around. What did you guys learn from pro wrestling this week? Who wants to go first? Everybody at once. Uh, I'll go. All right, what'd you what'd you learn, Corey? Futuristic. I learned Jericho is fucking awesome. I love that uh, mm -hmm. segment. Oh, uh, we didn't even talk about that yeah. yesterday. It was glorious. I brought me back to my childhood of loving wrestling. Mm -hmm. Um, what else did I learn? I don't know. Oh, I want the fans of the show, whoever's listening, come up with a double team move for me and my new friend because I've been watching a lot of old footage. Now, I have no clue what I want to do as a double team move, but I'm open to ideas. So, yeah, we're talking Shoot double, some. and we're talking double team for wrestling. Just to clarify, what is this? in, be, in <laughs> both ways, <laughs> outside of wrestling and inside of wrestling. <laughs> but I will give away that my partner is kind of a big guy. He's not little, so what's well, he think, look like? Yes. Think of like Rey Mysterio and Batista kind of. All right, <laughs> excellent. Oh wow! Wait, wait, wait Rey Mysterio. Into a pole. Are you and short? Stop. You're Rey Mysterio. Okay. <laughs> they were a tag team for like a yeah, little bit. Yeah, they were tag You're team right. champions. Then he Doomsday. beat him. He's like, "What were you maybe do, Rey?" <laughs> Dilly says, uh, uh, "Doomsday device in the chat." That's too calm, and I need yeah, something. Yeah, okay. I need you could put a twist on it. Maybe. All right, all yeah, right. Uh, Dan, what did you learn from wrestling this week? SmackDown's killing it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I watched uh, the eliminate. I was driving home from Erie from training. Actually, like it was like two whiteouts. It was horrible. It was like three hours to get home. <laughs> um, and uh, I went home and got caught the elimination chamber. Thought every match was great. 
I know people are complaining because there's padding on the Elimination Chamber, but I love the match, love the new setup. Mm. Um, Bray Wyatt's title win was like two years too late. But, yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, but no, the girls killed. I think women's wrestling, like I, I tweeted this, but there was the new, new era, the Attitude era, the Reality era, the Ruthless Aggression era. It's the women's era. Their matches are just out of control. And who said that? I said that. And I also learned that Sant, Sant, what's your name again? Santana Diamonds. He's a real one. A I real am. one. I definitely am. Santana, what'd you learn? Um, that Charlotte is the greatest women's wrestler ever. And um, <laughs> yes, she is. She's uh, she's amazing. She's the greatest women's wrestler ever, 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 ever. Um, what else? Crystal Russo was on Ring of Honor only because of Diamond Joe Rogers. Um, <laughs> what else? That's a fair statement. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Corey does not like Bulk Nasty. Hooven does not like Samoa Joe. I just want to make this clear. Santana told me specifically to come on this show just to say that. Yeah. Just to bury Bulk Nasty. So do not think I came on here myself <laughs> to bury Bulk Nasty. Santana told me. Yeah, I, I did. I, I gave with, him a script. I work with Santana, <laughs> and I see all of his weird outfits every day, all stylish and stuff. And I am very stylish. My shoot job, I see him every day. <laughs> he does. <laughs> I used to see Santana every day, too, at my shoot job. I'd walk across the bridge and take a two-hour lunch to hang with him and Jeff. This is true. And, and you got to hear the stingers. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Mainstream Matt, what would you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I, Yeah, just going off of what Corey said, um, amazing segment, but I learned that friendship isn't real. <laughs> yeah. and even your best friend will stab you in the back for no wow. good reason yeah. and it, it hurts man who's this word? who's really this wow word? missy what'd you learn i learned that i am still oh. so just over who, who nikki bella find? who is this one? you're done with nikki bella I'm, I'm done with nikki bella i have been done with nikki bella oh, sure. and me and wrestling Hooven, is so hard mm-hmm. me and hooven are big champion so hard steel fans roxanne steel oh we love yeah, her we, like we love her I like her from the IWC. She's, she's from uh, Five Star Wrestling with oh, Joe Rogers. Okay. She's the last five star wrestling champion. She is the last champion. five star women's wrestling champion yes. ever. Okay. We need her in IWC. <laughs> what we do? Oh, yeah. So I just saw Billy Johnson's comment in the chat room. We'll, we'll get we'll, we'll, <laughs> what, uh, what did Billy say? Uh, we'll, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get around to the chat. We'll get around your, to don't ignore your Mad Mike, Mad Mike, <laughs> what did you learn from wrestling this week? Uh I I learned that TV is haunted. The best way to deal with a broken friendship is hugs. Okay. Hugs. Oh. Hugs. Hugs. There, there, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> the Bailey Band. Bobby of J-Town, what about you? I'm also going off of what Corey said. Um, it's it's The last three shows, wrestling shows, have been it's – it's a great time to be a wrestling fan. SmackDown was awesome tonight. Raw was amazing. Like, little kids – had uh, Bailey winning as champion, the little girls. That's like something great for her for the, for them. Mm-hmm. Also, like I would equate the the uh, festival of friendship to the barbershop window, mm-hmm. and how mm-hmm. like good, that yeah. shaped That's my good. love of wrestling. I I wonder if that like little kids saw that and like it shaped their love of wrestling as well. It, you know, I I just want to know that somebody made a comment, um, maybe on the group or on Twitter. That Jericho is a victim of both, basically both sides. He's the Janetti and the Shawn Michaels now, yeah. it, as far as tag teams go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he did yep. Shawn. Yeah, because he was the, the Shawn. Tron, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, kind of an interesting point there. Um, from the chat room, Wheels learned that he he enjoyed the main events for both shows this week. Uh, of course, the the triple threat on SmackDown and the women's uh, uh, title change on the Raw. Uh, Billy learned that Gilbert is still alive. <laughs> that was <laughs> my, probably my favorite. I've been waiting. Who who's been waiting for Gilbert this entire time? Yeah, maybe yeah. Get, uh, right, right, uh, right, right. Sorg, I'd rather see Gilbert at WrestleMania. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, we can, well we can uh, officially put him right there on on He's the, back the mix. He's back in the mix. <gasps> oh my God, Sorg! Oh, Who is she? I'm gonna book Gilbert. Mr. Chance, Mr. Chance, next yeah. week. You, you I'm gonna book chance. Gilbert versus Goldberg. <laughs> Naomi, <laughs> Naomi points. Or I'm sorry, Tina. Like Tina points out that Naomi and Ember Moon needs to happen. Why? Is it black? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe why? Could be. I I don't know. Uh, And Chris is out there. Says he learned that Santana Diamonds. Oh, that he learned that he loves Santana Diamonds and Dan Hooven. Sorry, Corey. 
Who said that? What? Chris said that. Chris. Sorry, Chris. Corey. Chris with the K. Chris, Chris Harmon. Big. Chris. Oh, big. Big. We gotta hit a sauna and talk business soon. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing go. like two guys hitting a sauna talking about you the ever business. Sit in the, you ever sit in the sauna, Sorg, and talk business? I sat in the sauna talk about the business. and it was awkward and I left after five minutes. Santana, what happens when you're not in the sauna? I'm thinking about the business. Whoever that is, fuck him for not saying me. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, we also have a suggestion for your finisher from Tina. All right, cool. Uh, where did it go? It's, it's moving down the list here. Oh. Uh, elimination something. Total elimination as total? a finisher. Wasn't that the... I forget total, which, what's that? That was... That was a sweet wasn't kick and a... And Saturn, and, and, Saturn and, and Cronus. Yeah. Yeah. Saturn one and Cronus. kick's low, one kick's high. Yep. It's like a oh, hit. Yeah. Come on now. Everybody sweep, does sweep that. Sweep the leg. What if, and what if you did something. the Doomsday device? That's what but, uh, Ascension does, right? That's basically, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Instead of the clothesline on Doomsday, you did like the Sasha Banks knee move. Yeah. Oh, Destroy yeah. your body. I have like a pretty good idea in my head. I love Sasha Banks. Do. How, how about the Doomsday like, device, except you do the double knees, Sasha Banks, double knees off the top or off the yeah. person on the shoulder. Yeah. That's nice. I like that. I think I just said that. <laughs> I sound better. I think you guys should bring back the bushwhacker battering ram. No, don't talk about there the bushwhackers anymore. Oh, and Tina, <laughs> Tina added an additional comment with regard to her match. She thinks it would be a super athletic match. I'm kidding, Tina. I know. I'm being. I'm being. A, I'm being a smart ass. Smart you ass smart ass? ass? What? I thought you were a hard ass. I'm not a hard ass. There you go, <laughs> guys. Thank you for joining us, Dan Hooven, Daniel Hooven on the Twitter, and he's going to be. Um, the redebuting, I guess, at Proving Grounds. I am, I am, um, John McChesney trained me, uh, this past weekend. There's a fantastic training montage that just and hit the internet actually today. got me gear, mm -hmm. so it looks like on next Saturday, I'm going to be making my professional wrestling debut against the fraternity. I, I'm, I'm a bit scared. February 25th, Proving Grounds, Royal Valley, PA. Uh, videos will be on IndieWrestling.us shortly after that, so please check it out. And, Corey, futuristic? I would say my match is one of the main matches of IWC, finally. Well, that's because Kingpin's in it. My exactly. friend is going to be there, and it's me <laughs> and my friend versus Jess Flexer and people, Brian King, People are paying attention. People were yelling about for your friend the last show, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... As Brian was... Uh, Getting his ass kicked, and he had lust in his eyes. Jock and that other yeah. guy were bought. He definitely everything. did have lust in his eyes. <laughs> and Santana, Santana Diamonds is going to be in a match against Jackson Argos that joined us. You a might as early. well say this is Santana's debut too, because <laughs> we, we don't really see him in IWC that much. <laughs> <laughs> learn, learn to know Santana Diamonds yeah. again. Yeah, <laughs> at Royal Valley. <laughs> That's true. There you go. You know what was classic? Shane in your face for Santana Diamonds. Oh, yeah. That happened at a Joe Rogers yeah, promotion. It did. Well, there you go. Classic. Ric Flair well, was That was like, the Ric Flair. Ric Flair was like, who was those two workers? That was a five-star match. And then Joe Rogers said, of course it is. Five-star. <laughs> five-star wrestling. Five stars. <laughs> Mainstream Matt 1T on the Twitters. Thanks, Sorg. Wife of the show. Producer of the show. Wait, I want one last question before <laughs> we leave. <laughs> How long does everybody think that Goldberg and Kevin Owens is going to last? Oh, two minutes. Yeah, it could be a two minutes. Two really? minutes. I, yeah, I think so, I, too. He only lasted three and a half in the Rumble. That's o true. Okay, if Kevin I Owens and Goldberg only last two minutes, how long is Lesnar and Goldberg? At? They they got to do ten minutes for that, at least. Maybe. Um, a lot of posing. Do you, do you remember Lesnar versus Goldberg last time? They didn't touch each other for seven. So. They should do that again. That's true. So they're I just gonna hope do Kevin Owens either. keeps the they title. They should just fuck each other. I'd rather see Jericho and him for the <laughs> title now. <laughs> Diamonds are forever. 15 minutes from Chris so in the chat room. Oh. Uh, and of course, on online, Bobby of J-Town on the Twitter. You can buy me. You can buy him. Ladies, my ladies love Bobby. Bobby. And of course, Mad Mike 4883 does a midweek war with I'm us. I'm going to get Bobby a rat. Yes, I do. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to Bobby a rat. Get and Trey a rat. Bobby, yeah. Rat Trey. for everybody. Yeah. I forgot about Trey needs a rat. He's yeah. <laughs> Bobby, you need to come up to Royal Valley. These guys can hook you up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Only if loyal. Mm -hmm. What's that? Only, <laughs> Only if loyal. What, him? <laughs> yeah, or... he has to be loyal. Biggs is also giving a shout out. Like, he loves you, Corey. There you go. There you go. <laughs> What'd you say? Thank you so much, everyone, for joining Biggs us. It's the, the Valentine's Day special. He loves you too. Uh -oh. yeah. So awesome. I was like, he showed some love for the other guys. Awesome. Oh, this just in. Um, 
Ed Burke out there says he learned that Daniel Bryan is one of his favorite GMs ever because all he wants to do is run his show and he's just so tired. <laughs> See how he tonight? He's so tired. He, he thinks when he's he just tired looks now, at them like, and he's just like that. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, thank you everybody for joining us. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.